Hey everyone, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can password protect a certain section within your Elementor page. Before we get started, are you entered into our giveaway to win a free $5,000 website? All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and fill out our official entry form. We'll put a link to that in the description box down below. You need to make sure that you enter before December 31st. So pause this video, go over and fill out that entry form and make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel for your chance to win. Okay, let's get back to the video. Out of the box, Elementor and WordPress don't have much functionality or control over your password protected pages. The only functionality is within WordPress, you're able to password protect a whole page. Now we get asked by our clients a lot of times, can we just password protect uh, one little section of a page? And yes, you can do that with a plugin. So I'm gonna show you what most people um, are familiar with when it comes to the WordPress password. So if you go under visibility and you create a password protected page, let's just say test one, two, three. Once you update this page, you're probably pretty familiar if you've done this route before where you need to type in the password to see all of the content on the page. So if I just type in test one, two, three, enter, now the user will be able to see the content on the page. Uh, our clients, like I said, uh, didn't want this functionality. They wanted to just be able to see one section. So now I'm gonna show you how you can achieve that inside Elementor. The plugin you're gonna need to install is called WordPress Password Protect Page or PPWP. Um, this plugin is completely free and will give you all the functionality you need to be able to password protect just a section within your Elementor page. And if you go down here, it actually works with other page builders as well. So this is a really good plugin that gives you a lot of extra functionality um, on how to password protect pages throughout WordPress. So after this is installed, let's jump over to the Elementor page. Now that you have the plugin installed, Next, we need to go into our Elementor page and create the section that's gonna be password protected. So to do that, you just go over here on your left side panel in Elementor and type in PPWP or pa uh, password protection. Just click and drag that over like you do with any other Elementor widget. And as you can see right here, this area is gonna be the password protected section. So if the user is, let me go to the preview here, so you can see right here that the user can actually see the content down here in this simple call to action section. So you're not restricting the user from not seeing the whole page. So this is already exactly what we're looking for. Now what we can do is within here, they have settings where you type in your password. So you can do multiple passwords, which is pretty cool. So let's just do test. Um, another cool feature is you can make it where this will show automatically if it's assigned to one of these um, roles inside of WordPress. That could be um, a feature that you're looking for. So this is what's gonna show once the user types in the password. It's gonna show whatever is in this text widget right here. And so they give you a little extra functionality. You can type in the title, which would be right here, placeholder, um, what the button says, enter, and then this text right here. So they give you the ability to make those edits, which is um, pretty nice. And if you need to actually add any customization like spacing or you wanna have the button look a little different, um, that you are gonna be required to go into advanced and figure out what classes they are and add your custom CSS here. But in most cases, this is just gonna pick up the styling from your theme and you might not even have to customize it. But if you need to, it's all within um, your custom CSS. So now let's just do a test and see how this works. So the password I assigned was just test. And let's go back to the page, hit refresh, and just type in the word test. Now this should all disappear and then you see this is the area that is inside that text widget that we uh, have there. So like I said, you can add anything within here. Next I'm gonna show you how you can add a Elementor template within here so there's more to see when the user types in a password. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add a save template inside this section right here so when someone enters in a password, they can see more content than what is just built into this little generic text editor. So let me jump over to some save templates. So let's say you have 
a call to action section that you would like the user to see when they type in a password. So you can see this call to action section is just a little header, some text and an image. So it'd be nice to have it where someone types in a password and they could see something like this instead of just the generic text that that gives you. So it's really simple to do once you create your save template uh, with an Elementor. All you need to do is copy this short code right here and go back into your password protected widget and just delete this and enter in your template ID right here. So you can see it shows up right here. And let me change this password so it refreshes correctly. Hit update. And now when the user goes in here, they should now be displayed with that new call to action section. So let's give it a shot. So let's test one, two, three, enter. And there you go. So now the user is going to see this. So this can be, like I said, um, you could do anything within a template. And so this gives you a lot more functionality and can be very useful to uh, password protect uh, sensitive content or anything like that. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video like this. Thanks, this is Mark from Wiki Design.